this is a trip heading north on the famous Las Vegas Strip starting at the Paris. The Paris with the fabulous Eiffel Tower. Across the street we have the incredible Bellagio's Caesar's Palace. It's a Saturday night. It is busy compared to how it was earlier in the week. A lot more people here on Saturday. Tiffany Haddish is in town tonight performing at the park. There's an MMA fight tonight. A lot of people here for that. The Miracle Mile Mall is right here. It has over 200 stores, free parking, so that's where we park. That's one of the places we park. Mm -hmm. There's six free parking spots on the strip. Tropicana, Planet Hollywood, which is the Miracle Mile shop. Treasure Island, Circus Circus, The Wind and Encore, actually seven. The Sahara and the Stratosphere all have free parking. He's looking up higher. Said that the Eiffel Tower does a light show and uh, changes into many different colors, but we never we never found ourselves right at the Eiffel Tower at the right time, so we missed that this trip. Oh, this is terrible traffic! A lot of traffic today. Saturday night on the strip. Limousines. Passing the fabulous Bellagio, which is where the uh, the water show. Here we have the CVS, that's one of the best places to buy your water, a lot cheaper. And next to CVS there's a little group of little stores, very nice little place. You can buy vape supplies, all kind of little things. They have a Walmart burgers is in there, and just a lot of nice little shops. And then on this side, we have trays which is in the Cromwell. We're stuck in the middle of the street, so we and want we the cars. Really Saturday night on the street. You gotta be careful, you got a few drunks out here, I'm sure. 
and they smoke a lot of weed out here on the strip. Here's the flamingo. World famous. Which is across the street from Caesar's Palace. Ahead, next to Caesars, is the Mirage, which has the uh, volcano with flames that shoot out. And this takes place every hour. Next door to the Flamingo is the lake, which is a very fun resort. But what's even nicer is they have the, the Link Promenade, which is another group of wonderful stores, restaurants, bars, in and out Burger is there. We had our first in and out Burger, which was delicious. And it's definitely a lot of fun, a lot of action. Like a party atmosphere all day long. People are nice. Just have, it's all about having a good time. We're actually right in front of Margaritaville here. Yeah, I already got that. And down further. As we get down further, we'll see a quick glimpse of the promenade, and you'll see a big Ferris wheel in the back, which was built by Circus Circus. Well, let's get out of the way of the people. Um, you pay attention to the road. So if you look straight back, that takes you to the, the promenade, the group of stores and bars and restaurants. Just fun, fun, fun. Very crowded. Forum Shops, which is next to a part of Caesar's Palace, has all of the very expensive stores, Gucci, Chanel, all of the top brands. We didn't see too many people in those stores, but the stores are very nice, fancy, and definitely expensive. Now here we're at Harris. And Guy Fieri, the guy from the Food Network, has a restaurant right there.
That's the carnival, which has a live band every night. Drinks. And again, we're about to pass Harris. Over on this side, as we can see. an amazing sign. And now we're passing the, to our right was Casino Royale, which was a ripoff place. They claimed the claim to give you $20 worth of free slot play after you spend $20 of your own money. But the only problem, you don't get, you don't win one penny tightest machines, slot machines in the city, and it really felt like a ripoff. Now to our right here though is the beautiful Venetian. A huge resort, that's the one where you can ride the gondolas in the water, inside or outside, as the gondola driver sings to you, serenades you and your woman, incredible the ceiling is like a sky it looks like the sky and the clouds move it's unbelievable beautiful fountains street from the Venetian is Treasure Island. Treasure Island is very nice. It's a, one of the older older resorts. They used to have a pirate battle years ago as one of their free shows out, out front. They discontinued that. Next to the Venetian is the Palazzo, which is owned by the Venetian. It's very similar to the Venetian. Very beautiful. Just cruising north on the strip on a Saturday night. As you can see, next to the Palazzo is the wind, followed by the Encore, both built and owned by Steve Wynn, who built and owned the Mirage. Over here to our left, this area where it looks like ships are lit up, which they are. Okay, you just drawing. That's where they used to literally shoot little bombs as a as a show. They would shoot shoot bombs at each other. 
those were the good old days. Just cruising north on the Las Vegas Strip. It's January 18th, I think. This is winter time, and it was warm all day for us. Of course, zero snow. We hear that back home in Cleveland, there's snow on the ground and 37 degrees. Here's the famous Trump Tower. And yes, there is the famous Trump Tower. Well, that's the Las Vegas. Trump Resort. Now this complex, this building here is actually to our left is the Fashion Show Mall, which has Neiman Marcus, uh, various stores. It's a mall. And it has kind of like a flying saucer type of thing on, 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 on uh, as part of this decor. Very nice. Seems like they keep adding more and more digital signs. Trip to 
Vegas for at least a couple days. Let's check it out. And the strut is actually, some people consider it not a part of the strip because it is so far down. But it's definitely, it's on the same street. So I don't know why they wouldn't call it, consider it a part of the strip. But it is the last resort on the strip, so to speak. Now on this corner, when you want to buy your souvenirs, or your booze, yeah. This is the cheapest, the large, it's called the world's largest gift shop. And it is huge. And this is where you want to come. You don't want to pay triple. And some of these stores on the strip. Just come right down here. They have souvenirs from 99 cent and up. And after this light, we will be pulling into our resort, which at the top has uh, all kind of, what do they have? Rides and observation deck. Yep, observation deck, rides, you can bungee jump from the top of that uh, stratosphere. There's a restaurant called the Top of the Town, which slowly spins while you're eating. And you get a 360 degree view of the city. It's quite beautiful. We haven't eaten there. We've been eating good. Ate at one of the one of the best buffets in the world at the Silverton, a resort a little ways from here. It was all you could eat lobster tail. Highly recommended. Would you recommend it, sweet mm -hmm. mom? It was delicious. And uh, so now we're pulling into our home base, so to speak. We took you down a quick cruise down Las Vegas Boulevard on our last day here in the city. And that's going to wrap it up.